you know, one snatch and that's it. They're, they're gone. Oh, oh. Ooh, dude. That's a nice one. And we're back with another edition of the fishing pole. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Today is a saltwater expedition. I'm down here at Indian River. This is in Delaware. And the tog fishing I hear is pretty good. So I got my reel. I got some sand fleas. I got some shrimp. I made my own rigs yesterday. If this is successful, we're gonna see if we can do a little how-to video on how to make them because it's all about trying to save some money to end have some fun. So let's do some fishing. You fishing. There we go. There we go. Am I hung up? I don't know if I got him or not. There we go. Ooh, it's a tog. I don't think it's a keeper though. It's a nice tog. You're my first tog. First tog of the day. First tog of the day. He is, let's say, one, two. He's about 14 inches, not quite keeper size. I gotta get him back in. This is why I always carry a pair of pliers. So I hear, I hear this bait is hot today. So, presumably, that is what I'm catching. Say goodbye. Good night, Gracie. So when I first got here, I asked him how bite, how hot the bite was. He said the bite's pretty good. Nothing else is biting except for these. This is store-bought shrimp. This is what I'm using. I got to bite instantaneously. I am casting really shallow among these rocks. That's the first one I got. Let's see if we can get some more. Mmm. Nothing like delicious sand fleas. Delicious. Delicious. That's a bite. So the question is, is when to set the hook? Some people say immediately. Some people say after the first strike. And the one I did catch, I caught him on the second strike. So only going by past experience. I don't know much about this. However, I did do a little bit of research and what I've been watching is some guys like to leave their rod kind of resting here along the rail. The idea is, is they, they, they hit so fast that you really, by the time, if you're sitting down or you're away from your rod, by the time you come over and, and try to set the hook, they're gone. Man, they're in these rocks and they're out for blood and they're trying to catch and eat whatever they need to eat and boom 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 that's it they're done so and the other thing you want to try to do is reel as fast as possible you don't want to pump the rod up and down because that's an opportunity to uh, release tension on the hook and potentially losing a fish so i did that with the first one it worked pretty good hopefully i can catch maybe one more maybe a keeper maybe dinar Dinner. So, it's a very nice day today. There is the big old bridge there from Indian River. We got a bunch of boats traversing. Whoa, is that a bite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. It's a toggy. The Toggenheim, and it's a tiny tog. It's a tiny one. They look like sunnies. 
<laughs> As you can see, they got vicious little teeth. Someone's been to the dentist. Mmm, dentist. So, he is, I don't know, maybe like seven inches or so. Definitely not. Not keeper. But awful cute. I'll say that again. Let's get a picture. Slimy little SOB. What? The tog. Sorry, dude. But, uh, pretty little thing. Throw him back. Two points. <laughs> I just spooked a bunch of little silver size here. I don't know if that was the wisest thing to do. Let me throw it out further. Sand fleas on, sand fleas on. All right, here we go. Chuck this monkey out there. So this technique works. You gotta let it, I, I, I definitely would recommend that because there's no way you're gonna be able to catch these. It's, 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 it's almost like you're fishing for sunnies. You know, one snatch and that's it, they're, they're gone. Oh, oh, ooh, dude, that's a nice one. Either that or it's in the rock. Uh, I think it's in the rock. Ugh. Booyah! Another tog. I'm so sorry, Uncle Albert. One. Too. He might be keeper. You guys got a roar? It's all right. My mistake. <laughs> but nice tog, man. Nice tog. One, two, two fingers. That could be 16 inches, man. That's close. I don't think that's quite, quite. Oh, he's pooping. Look at that. Ungrateful bastard. So, Taltog, blackfish, any other fish you want to call them. Fun, fun day today. No keepers. My plan is to come back again, hopefully catch some keepers, maybe do a catch and cook, see what happens. Um, fun day. Tog fishing. Indian River, Delaware, mid October. Be there. Fun day. Uh, I only spent about $3.50 on sand fleas. I bought some shrimp, which I have a lot of. I'll bring back again. They bid on both. I did not have green crab. Green crab are a bit of a pain to deal with. Um, sand fleas are a little easier. That's what I chose. You might catch bigger fish on them. So try it yourself. Talk fishing. Everybody happy fishing. Please like share and subscribe if you would and uh everybody catch some fish little gizzard chad shared grow up